Hello, my name is Angela Bradis, and I am a fifth grade science teacher here in Maryland. And today's video is about how students, yes, you students, how you guys can access your online textbooks through Clever. This video is primarily for students in Prince George's County Public Schools, as I will be talking about how to navigate using the school district's Clever portal in order to access these online textbooks. So if you are a student, if you're a parent, this video is just for you. Teachers, please feel free to share this video as a resource to help your students and parents during this time of distance learning. Alrighty, let's go ahead and jump straight into the video. So as a student, how would I be able to access my online textbooks? The very first thing that you would have to do is go to clever.pgcps.org and then select log in with Active Directory. So once you log in to Clever, if you come down here to where it says textbook direct links, this is where you this is where you would be able to access your online textbooks. So HMHED or Ed in Learning, Ed your friend in learning, is where you can find your science and reading textbooks. Sava EasyBridge is where you'd be able to find your social studies textbook. And for math, your math teacher will provide you with the resources that you need in order to access your math resources. So make sure to ask questions about that uh, during the first day of school. But it's everything's in Clever. So when I select HMH, I would go to Discover. And then I would come here to where it says select a program and I'd click on this down arrow and then I would find the grade that I am in. So if I am a fifth grader trying to access my reading textbook, I would select HMH reading grade five and it would take me to my fifth grade textbook. Let's say I'm trying to access my science textbook. All that you would have to do is scroll down until you find your science textbook, HMH, Science Dimensions, and select the grade that you're in. So let's say I'm still a fifth grade student, I would select grade five. If I'm in second grade, I would just select grade two. And when I select it, it will take me directly to my textbook. Now, let's say that my teacher happens to assign assignments in my textbook. How would I be able to access those assignments? Well, if you look at the top of your textbook, you see different headings. There's dashboard, discover, assignments, and scores. If you select assignments, you'd be able to see the assignments that you would have to do You'd also be able to see any assignments that are overdue. If it's overdue, it means it's late. And you'd also be able to see any assignments that you completed. So if I'm a student and I was trying to look for my assignments, this is where I would go. Now, where it says all subjects, I would just hit the down arrow and I would hit science and health if I wanted to see all my science assignments. And then I would hit reading and language arts if I wanted to see all my reading assignments. So that's how you would access your reading and science textbook. And this is also how you would access any reading and science assignments that have been assigned in your textbook. So let's go back and let's go down here to Saba. So for Saba, once your teacher assigns the textbook, to your class, then once you click on Sava, you would be able to access your textbook. So for the purposes of this video, you are able to see how to access your reading and science textbook. 
And for social studies, you know that you would have to select Sava. And when your teacher does assign your Sava textbook to you, or parents, when the teacher does assign the Sava textbook, the child would only simply need to click on this icon. And then on the right-hand side, they would select Realize. When your child does that, it will take them to their social studies textbook. Alrighty, thank you so much and have a great day.